heavily <laughs> by one, not being able to decide which direction to take our deeds. <laughs> Two, Helen had to leave at two o'clock. Excuse <laughs> me, Nettie and I had two group members. Did you have two, two members as well? We, we lost two and we left, we left two. two. Yes. Okay, okay. fair enough then. Well, we've no excuse in that case, it's just an appalling game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's stairway to heaven. So you've got to get to heaven with star at the top here. And you work your way up fountains, up the staircases. So you stay away to right. heaven. So your entrance is here, and the idea behind it all is... So you, you roll your dice, and you've got your little counter there. And you start off here. And all these green squares are your information sources, which will remain anonymous until you land them. So, we roll a three. I can't get to it yet, so let's pretend I've rolled a four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, he gets that. And there's a central deck of cards. So you draw out, these are all shuffled. Draw out one, what have I got at the top? Question point, that's worth two points. So you've got to get ten points before I actually can get out of the ground floor. So you carry in such a vein. There's some of the cards in here, like, no points for a bloke down the pub, said. Uh, four points for using the language resource area, and so on and so forth. And each of these has a little description with them as well. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> and you just carry on making your mirror way at the top, so the next level is a bit tougher. There's more levels to go at, more squares to go at. They're not rectangles, they are squares. <laughs> and you've got to get 15 points to get through this one. And then you're up again. You've got more again here. You've got to hit 20 points this time. And you've got to finally reach this to complete your stairway. And the idea is just to sort of show students what kind of information sources there are out there for them and uh, give them a description of what good ones and bad ones are. It was actually Andrew's idea to, to give you know, points to different types of information sources depending on how useful or how relevant or how sort of specialist they are for students to get to. So that's why you've got zero points for I found it on an internet forum by an anonymous poster. And you've got like five points for other things like using the Army Centre and things like that. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of it, I think. Okay.